Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own homemade butter. It is light, it is sweet, it is just mm, good. So um, <laughs> what we'll be doing is I have some high or heavy whipping cream here. The heavy whipping cream is mostly all that um, milk fat. That milk fat is what we're going to be turning into butter through agitation. Now uh, you can use half and half, that works fine as well. Um, but if you are using a 2% or a 3% milk, that fat content is so low, you're not going to be able to make a butter with it. So again, you need to make sure that it is a high fat content. Um, heavy whipping cream is definitely helpful. You can also get milk straight from a cow, but I ain't got no cow, so <laughs> I'm using this instead. Now, um, to do this, you can do several methods. Uh, you can put it in a jar and just shake it, and that will agitate um, the cream enough that that will separate the buttermilk and the milk fat and change that into butter for you. Um, what I did this time is I ended out cutting a hole in the top of my container. Now that's going to work really, really well, and I guess, guys, haters are going to hate. I'm doing this within minutes, and it works perfect. You can actually probably even use a wire whisk and attach it to a power drill, and there you go. Redneck butter turn. We got this covered, y'all. All right, so <laughs> this is what I'm doing for now because this works. You can use a blender. You can use a KitchenAid. There are lots of things you can do. And again, shaking a jar is fine as well. Now, one of the things that you can do, you can add salt, but that's optional. I am going to use it today. One of the ways that um, our pioneers made butter is they would put their strained cream into a big vat. So when they came across the plains, um, when they hit rocks and stuff, that would agitate the containers. And by the time they got to where they were going to stop for the day, then they had homemade butter. So anything that works to create the agitation will be fine. Now you will need to let your um, cream or whatever you're using to make your butter set on a counter, let it get to room temperature. When it's room temperature, it'll go much faster and you won't have to work at it for as long. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. Um, as you can tell, this is a really thin uh, texture at the moment. It's almost just like a thick milk or maybe like a chocolate milk. Um, but that's what I'm going to use this time and I'm going to make it thick. So we're just going to whip this puppy right up and get this going. Now I've only got just a little bit in here at this time, but hopefully we'll see how this goes. Start off low and slow, because uh, if you don't have a splatter guard, this is going to get really, really messy. going to go ahead and stop here. We're just going to take a look at it. So as you can tell, it's become more of a whipped cream, but it's still, it's still kind of thin. It drips off. So we need it to be even thicker than that. Because remember, we're trying to separate the milk fat from the milk, or our buttermilk. So we don't have butter yet, so we'll keep going. We're going to go ahead and stop and take a look at it. And here we've got a thicker whipped cream like texture. At this point, this is where you can go ahead and add a little bit of salt. Again, it's optional. I'm going to use it today. 
Just put a little bit of a pinch in there. There we go. Put the cap back on it because we still don't have butter yet. Alrighty, here we go. Let's have a look. We're starting to get a little bit of a cottage cheese like texture, but I still don't see the separation, so we're not there yet. So we're going to keep going. I might have a little bit of some chunks going on in here and if I do then that means I've got that separation it's almost there not quite but it's almost there so we are gonna go ahead and continue why it's good to have a splatter guard because it's starting to separate and it's starting to kind of put stuff all around. Alrighty and let's have a look. There we go we have our buttermilk and then we have our milk fat separation. So there we have our butter. Just gonna go ahead and kind of try and get this off my whisk a little bit here. Now we're going to strain it and wash it. We wanna make sure we get all of that liquid out of there because that can actually turn our butter. We don't, we don't want our butter to spoil. We want it to last as long as we can possibly have it. Just going to go ahead and just take my spatula and remove this. Now you can actually save that buttermilk if you want to. Um, you can make that with pancakes and it will make some great biscuits as well. I'm just going to go ahead and set this over here for right now. I'm going to save my buttermilk. I'm going to strain this off here. And now we need to wash it. So we need to make sure we have some ice cold water. Sorry, excuse me, moment. I have to get my water. <laughs> Just kind of run that off. We want to make sure that when we pour our ice cold water over there, that um, our butter doesn't melt. That's the reason why you're using ice cold water. We also want it to come out clear. So as soon as this is actually washed like it's supposed to, All of that buttermilk will wash right out of the butter fat and it will be much easier to take care of and store for later on. And that is how you make butter. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you can come back for more tips and tricks later on. This is just, mm, it's so wonderful. Have a good one guys. Bye now.